The 93rd Division formed in 1917 and consisted of four infantry regiments, three of which were National Guard organizations. One of these units was the 369th Infantry Regiment, first known as the 15th New York. In December 1917, it was among the first units of the American Expeditionary Force and the first all-black unit deployed to France. One of the most prominent features of the United States during the Great War was systematic racial segregation and discrimination, codified by Jim Crow laws. These laws and customs profoundly shaped the wartime experience of National Guardsmen in the 93rd Division. Under the racially segregated force structure of the United States Army, most black units were commanded entirely by white officers, including the 369th. However, two of the 93rd Division's other regiments, the 370th and 372nd, were partially or fully led by black officers from their communities. The corrosive effects of Jim Crow, including a common aversion among white soldiers to serve alongside black soldiers, followed the Army to France. There, the National Guardsmen of the 93rd Division experienced routine and sometimes violent individual and collective discrimination. In June 1918, these and other factors influenced the dissolution of the 93rd Division's headquarters and transfer of its infantry regiments to French commands. These National Guardsmen wore American uniforms and carried the banners of their units and of the United States, but fought with French weapons and equipment until the end of combat operations. Despite enduring the horrors of trench warfare and the degradations of Jim Crow, the National Guard regiments of the 93rd Division merged as some of the most highly decorated American combat units of the entire war. These Guardsmen were harbingers of the early civil rights movement, and their unit's legacies endure to this day. In addition, five present-day National Guard units perpetuate their lineage and honors.